Uh, here we discuss uh, one final formulation of mass conservation in a particular geometry, um, and that is mass conservation in, thin, in the thin films, which we will use uh, once we look at thin film geometry, and that would be uh, here when uh, we look at lubrication theory. So let's consider a 2D thin film and we assume the flow to be incompressible. So the flow will be in the XY plane and mostly uh, the flow will be in here the X direction. Let's assume for example that we have a, um, a solid wall here and this is our flow domain and we have a thin film so the characteristic height of the liquid film is much smaller than this characteristic length here. Okay, so let's assume here we have a, um, this thin film and um, now the height of the film at any given location here h will be a function of x, the coordinate along the x-axis, and time. And at any given point here, uh, so at any x, we define q as a function of x and t as the volumetric flow rate through a uh, surface uh, which is um, who has a normal, uh, which is normal to the x vector. So the volume could flow right through a surface of normal x. So remember, if uh, our velocity field here, and so our velocity field is u, then um, the volumetric flow rate is just going to be q is equal to the integral from zero to h at x of t of u dot n, but n is x, so it's just the u component dy. And there's an implicit integration along the z direction, which is into the plane, but we're not, we're not writing it here. So there are different ways in which we can um, write a mass conservation statement uh, for this particular geometry. One is to start with the continuity equation. The other one is to reason on a, a control volume. And so here I'll start by start by reasoning and start to reason uh, from the differential level and therefore we'll start from the continuity equation. And what you'll see is that sometimes it's actually easier to reason at the control volume level uh, because when you start at differential level usually you have a lot more calculation. But so we start from the divergence of u equals to zero which uh, in 2D simply reduces to partial u partial x plus partial v partial y equals to zero. Okay, so you see that uh, this is a statement of mass conservation done really uh, on a very tiny differential element, so on a very small element. And what we would want is to have uh, something which relate the, the height h with the volumetric flow rate q, right? So we want a, um, a, a mass conservation statement when we integrate um, along the y direction over the thickness of the film. So we'll take our uh, continuity equation and what we'll do is we integrate along uh, the y-axis. So we'll take the integral from 0 to h dy. So we integrate both terms, the first one, so we have integral from 0 to h of partial u partial x plus, I'm uh, sorry, dy plus the integral from 0 to h of partial v partial y. So the second term is actually easier to compute. Oops, sorry, I forgot a dy here. So it is easier to uh, 
compute because uh, you have a partial with respect to y and you're integrating with respect to y at a constant x. So this is just directly the antiderivative uh, of this function. So this is going to be equal to v uh, at x and y dx, y, t between 0 and h um, x, t. So that is equal to v at x. So we're integrating again. Remember, we are integrating at a constant x. And I should write here that we integrate at a constant x. And so this yields v at x, y is equal to h of x and t and t minus v at x, y equals 0 and t. But this is equal to 0 because, um, because here we have a flat wall. We haven't discussed boundary conditions yet, but I mean that um, I think you can see where this is coming from. And now we have this second term, and the second term is much more uh, complicated. You have to know Leibniz rule for uh, partials uh, with respect to x when the bounds actually depend on x. Um, so I'll give it to you. This is from Leibniz rule equal to uh, the partial with respect to x of the integral from 0 to h of u dy. minus the velocity u at x, y equals h of x and t, and t times partial h, partial x. This here is just a mathematical formula. This is some similar to integration by parts. Um, there is no physics in that. Th these two are mathematically um, equal to one another. And you recognize that that here is the volumetric flow rate at x and t. So if we summarize uh, from this term, we have partial q partial x minus u at x h t times partial h partial x minus, sorry, plus velocity v at x, h, h is a function of x and t, and t. And this here, we integrated that also between 0 and h, but integrating 0 between 0 and h, of course, gives us 0. So you see that there is uh, some, not heavy lifting math, but it's, there is some math involved. And now, one more thing that you need to notice here is that these two terms they uh, come up into in the kinematic boundary condition. So we call the kinematic boundary condition. We have that uh, partial h partial t plus u 